Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, finally. It's been a long, long while, hasn't it? I know exactly how long it's been, so I don't know why I'm acting like I don't. It's been 10 days, and I do apologize. My name is Burgundy, and hopefully you remember me as the guy who used to make videos on this channel before he went on a sick leave to remove his tonsils. Yes, that was the last video I released, explaining me that I am a 21 year old getting my tonsils removed. And I told you it would be up to 3 to 4 day worst case scenario, not being able to make videos. Yeah, I was kind of an idiot to say something like that, because tonsillectomy as they call it, it's quite a hassle. It was a pain in the ass, no, but a pain in the throat. An exorbitant pain, pain in the throat, holy crap. I was bedridden for majority of the time, maybe like a week. A full week where I just lay, in, lay down in bed. Well, not really, but I... A full week where I couldn't talk or eat anything solid, so... Yeah. That was not a fun experience. I can now experience flavor again. Could this odor shut the hell up? I can now experience flavors again, and that is... The second most enjoyable thing I've experienced in a long, long time. You know what the best thing is? Getting back to you, people. Yeah, making videos for you. No, sorry. But I'm very happy to be back, in all seriousness. And I hope that you will pardon my absence, even though it was a lot longer than I had anticipated. That was probably not the best leash I could give a human being, but I, I'm not double jungling with you. We never agreed upon that, you have to say something. So, uh, that's enough of my sick leave, I guess. You may be noticing that I am playing under a different name and a character that I hope is not released yet. Because this video was made a lot l uh, later than I had hoped. I hope to get it out a lot sooner. Yeah, trade on up with me a little bit. Get one of these. Jeez, look at that damage. I am playing on the PvE as yes, the new, hopefully not released, champion Ilawi. I figured I'm gonna come back from a much longer break than I had pro uh, said, so I better come back swinging. How do I come back swinging? By giving you guys some... Well, I figured I couldn't give you much more quality content, let's face it, I'm so so high quality as it is. No, but I didn't have much to offer in that regard, so I figured I'd better give you something semi-exclusive, at least to this channel, something new. And here it is, some PBE content. You may be wondering, how did you get yourself a PBE account? And I'm gonna tell you. Jesus Christ, this damage. The trading man. I actually wrote to Riot Games. You know, the creators we all know and love. And I told them, hey, I'm a very, very, very new YouTuber. And I play your game. And I would like to bring my viewers some PBE content. And they accepted. They sent me this. Yeah, this gave me a... F no, they didn't. <laughs> this is all a, a filthy lie. I had you go in there, didn't I? No, my friend got one unexpectedly, a PB account. And uh, he stopped playing League actively maybe a year ago. Yeah, they gave him one and he didn't use it, so I figured, hey, I asked him, can I use your PB account? I didn't tell him what for, because I don't want anyone to know that I do this, that I have this little hair hobby. It's between you and me, guys. If you tell anyone that this channel is here, I will come to your house and I will know. That's Bob Ross from Family Guys, isn't it? <laughs> Bob Ross is pretty topical, eh? No, but, um, yeah, so he lent it to me, and here we are. And I hope you enjoy. This is Ilawi. She is quite the lane-dominant, horrifying, gnarly lady. Oh, he TP'd back to lane, didn't he? Give one of these. Yeah, he knows how to dodge that pretty well. Yeah, keep chasing me through my minions. That's a good idea. Get one of these. Ilawi is what I think when they did the whole juggernaut, I think I've talked about this a lot of times, my opinions on the juggernauts. The I the concept for the juggernaut role, I think they had perfected when they like on paper it was a very good idea. Like the slow, hard hitting, fat people that were difficult to kill but easy to get away from. But if you got under grasp, they just tear you a new one. I like that concept. But none of the champions that were supposed to be in that category that already existed, well, they didn't really fit that description at all. They were like Garen, the fastest fastest bastard in the game, essentially. Well, almost. And, yeah. 
I don't think a lot of the characters that were supposed to be juggernauts actually were juggernauts. Which to me felt a little bit stupid. But Ilawi, she actually personifies every single aspect of what I think that should be. Hey, good, good, uh, good job, man. Then again, I think your Lucian might be missing you, but uh, that's not for me to say. Maybe they have a deal. Uh, yeah, I think Ilawi is still first actual juggernaut in the game. She is hard hitting, but she has no hard CC. She is fat as all hell, but not very fast. Of course, of course, that can be slightly remedied by the per by purchasing this here lady. But I want to get this. I think yes, I am building towards the Styrax gauge, and I will tell you why. Uh, Ilawi has one of the highest base attack damages in the game. Let's see if you can. 80 at the moment. Yes. She has one of the highest base attack damages in the game, and the Sterex will increase that by an amount. I don't recall which amount. Let's see here. 20 base attack damage, yes. So if you get this and you get a Sheen item, I usually go for the Gauntlet. I don't think Triforce is all that good anymore. And then build the standard Juggernaut, Black Cleaver, Dead Nose Blade, and all that. You have quite the horrifying Squid Lady. Take that, little bitch. Well, I'm not gonna walk into your thing. I'm not gonna get stunned by Ude Rider. Ude Rider. The Ude Rider. Thank you. And she heals like Darius from her Q, her huge AoE hard hitting Q. So that's something to keep in mind. And her W is uh, like it, like Echo's E, it's a long ranged auto attack thing. But it doesn't have an uh, initial dash like Echo does. But a very strong ability indeed, and it interacts with your uh, little squidlings, little tentacle spawns. Get out of here. Get on out of here, Echo! Oh god, that was a waste. Let's pop our health potions here, because we are getting a sizable beating. Give him some. Give him a piece of our mind. Let's see, where was I? Your tentacles will interact with your W, so these little tentacles that spawn on the side here, they will actually slap once if you use your W. Which is really neat. I took that. That wasn't good. Let's see here. Yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say on Laoi. She's a squid slapping, horrifying lady. That used to date Gangplank, apparently. Which is pretty cool. Does he have enough mana for his ultimate? I don't think he does. Which bodes well for me, to be honest. Can I? I think keeping him in this general area would be good. There we go. And I don't stop. She has a very cool voice. Okay, I'm getting. Oh god, hiccups, sorry. I'm getting a little bit off track here, aren't I? Yes. So this is Ilawi on the PBE. Hopefully she hasn't been released yet, all that jazz that I was saying before. And hopefully you guys are getting some sort of preview on what to expect. Top laners, you have a horrifying opponent to expect that will be bl blandedly, is it blandedly, overpowered for a couple of weeks. And probably some time after that, because they don't really nerf people as hard as they used to these days. I haven't used my E once, that's not good, but I haven't really found the opportunity either. How are you standing all the way over here? Yeah, I'm not gonna stand in your W. He really puts that in the most, like, obvious places. Her E is probably one of her most powerful abilities, but I don't think I'm gonna hit Echo with it. He's a slipper, little man. I think it's better just to hit him with what I know will be successful. There you go. This is Echo's soul. And I have now killed it. And now we have permanent tentacles spawning all around and devils try to slap him like so. See? And this thing lasts for a minute. To activate it, you have to hit him with your E, which is a narrow skill shot that can be blocked by minions. And when you do... Yeah, they become a vessel. I don't think it makes much. I don't think they're tough speaking. I don't think it makes makes much sense that they become a vessel, it's like a vessel of tentacles. Yeah. But the important thing is that they will have your passive essentially 
tentacles spawning on them every few seconds for 10 minutes. 10 whole freaking minutes. That's a lot by my standards. Where is the... No. Where's the phage? The fag. There you go. I'm gonna split the build up a little there. Yeah, health potions are more expensive now. Um, where was I? I'm gonna grab a sip of tea, but... Tis not my trusty cup of regular tea, no. It is my trusty cup of iced tea. Which was one of the first flavors I got to experience once I was back in business with the whole eating and nourishment thing. And I nearly cried of joy. <laughs> it's been It's been awful, guys. It's been it's been awful. But yeah. Hopefully it will be for the better. Here you go. That damaged me in. I won't step right up. You're just gonna try and do stuff to me. Ooh, we got a tentacle slap. Life is too short. Oh god, what am I doing? Snatch yourself. Thank you. If he tries to walk out of it, it'll activate and Yeah, that's the only form of CC you have. If you kill their ghost while they're still in the vicinity, they get a slow on them, but it's not really a big deal, so to speak. So yeah, that's essentially... The lane phase becomes very one-sided one when you have that whole thing activated. Seeing as he can't... He has to focus very hard on dodging those squid, squid arms before he does anything else. So you can just... Yeah, it's a great zoning tool, I suppose. Because those squid arms would also hit him once again if I hit him with my W. So yeah. Hurrah! Hurrah! Pop some health potion here. Some health potion, a health potion. Can't let you do that. Push this as fast as we can. He's probably gonna teleport back and get all this anyway, but... Yeah, no, I don't really have any kill potential on him. I could have just... He doesn't give me... Mm. Excuse me, he doesn't give me much of a chance to go all in. But hey. Could be worse, we could be losing, and we certainly are not doing that. So this is the build. You go like health, health, and some more health. Health, 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 health. Let's TP back when we use TP all game. They changed this too, didn't they? Yeah, the cooldown is no longer reduced by you TPing to tower. So I could just TP to a minion, really. If you think about it. Hello, Echo. Little bitch. Give me your soul. I need it. You're in a bad situation, kill. Kiddo. That was not the rude, you're in a bad situation, kid. That was the fact that Echo's character is, in fact, a kid. A child. Of the streets of Saun? Saun? Where's, where's Singe is from? And Dr. Mundo and all those happy people. They're probably good with children. Hello! Okay, I had some other stuff to say. I'm getting off track once again. Sorry if I'm, my commentary is a bit even worse than usual. I'm I'm at a lot of practice, you know. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm trying to focus really hard so I can do something here. Snatch his soul. Give it a little beating. And he's gone back once again. Yeah, this lane is very boring. So let me fill you in on what's been going on. I figured I'm gonna come back to you guys very late, so I better come back swinging. I maybe already said that. So we are, well, first of all, we're on the PBE and get to see some preview stuff, if this is a preview. And we are also, I hope you've been noticing, I think you should be. We've upped the production value in the sense that we purchased a proper microphone. Yes, um, should I tell you what, eh, what the hell? Um, I can guarantee you guys I am not a sponsored YouTuber. <laughs> and if you think I am, then, well, thank you. That's flattering. It's a Blue Yeti microphone. The one that most YouTubers, gaming YouTubers use for their videos. And I think it's pretty damn good. And I hope you guys can notice the improvement overall. 
So that's one of the other little updates. I will also bring you something new tomorrow, but I won't tell you what that is. But, uh, <laughs> well, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not really news. It's pretty much old news by now, too. This I was supposed to do this like three to four days after my absence video. But yeah, yeah, I already told you all about that. Why that would never work. But yeah, tomorrow is going to be a fun video, too. Hopefully this is fun. I don't think it is a lot of fun. It's like me farming and my team stomping everything in their path. This echo is not making it easy for me. He doesn't want to die. Oh yeah, I don't have any... Usually on my regular account you can like shift, shift click to get yourself some... Uh, to get to stop smart casting to have normal casts so you can see the range on things. But I guess not. On this hair PB. Oh well. Did he back again? God damn, this is boring. Yeah. I could have brought you the skin that Elawi will be released with, but I really don't I think it's a shitty skin to be honest. It's worthwhile because it looks a lot different. She's like purple. That was pretty much it. She's purple, her tentacles are purple, so her attacks are purple. Imagine Void Fist, it's essentially the same thing. Let's see if we can do the whole Stomperoo thing that I always manage to do when I'm attacked by... when I'm ganked with this character. Yes, we can do it! Because this character is blat blatantly overpowered. So long! Echo! Oh shit. What is that? Did you see that? That happened in my previous video too. Uh, our previous recording of this. Is it, is it this? What's that freeze thing all about? Oh, well, there's something new for you. There is something new indeed. Let's go for Caulfield's Warhammer. I really don't like the item changes. They look silly. The items overall just look silly. But hey. So yeah, the ultimate spawns four tentacles. It deals a burst of damage upon doing so. And these tentacles swing faster and you they react to your W just like the other ones and you're just like very strong overall when you use your ultimate. Oh. Oh, let's get another one of these. Can't hurt. Hey, stop it. Oh, it's four seconds. Three, two, one. <clears throat> that was a burp. I hope you didn't hear me. I am only human. As it were. I keep burping though. Should be able to control that. Yeah. I haven't gone the usual build I go with the whole. Uh, I like rushing a Gauntlet. Sterex into Gauntlets or Gauntlets into Sterex on her, but this game I kind of felt like going a little more AD based. I also have a rune page that is flat AD. I tried out attack speed because her attack speed, base attack speed, is also contrary to her base attack damage, is the lowest in the game. She swings very slowly, as you may have been noticing. So there, I guess that balances the whole thing out. So I went flat AD because her scaling, her, yeah, you see the damage on her freaking W, it's insane. Or her Q and her W, but her Q in particular. Echo died, oh god, smart cast! Ah, I have my trinket for some reason on my regular client set to non smart cast, and my other stuff, yeah, it's a bit of a mix and match. But on this, it's all smart cast all the way, and it's messing me up. Mess me up inside. That sounds wild, never mind. Yeah, she is just hard hitting fat object that you put in the top lane to be annoying. And I, don't, I don't even think these guys can face me. As it were. Jumper! And spawn tentacles all over them. And Renekton's here to help me as well. Yeah, you can't gank her because her ultimate's on a fairly short cooldown. And when she has it, you can just raffle stomp people. So yeah, I think I like her in the sense that she has team fight capabilities, but that it's reliant on them going in on you. So yeah, I think that's well, they, that's what they told us Juggernauts would be. I guess that's the mastery. Holy shit! It looks pretty cool. Look at this damage though. Clear those and leave because I don't want to die. That is not something I plan to do here and now. 
I wish I could, my first video I recorded with this I went like 7 and 0. Which was a lot more impressive, but I can't bring you that one because I don't think it was very fun to begin with. And then stop that. Oh that's fucking thorn mail, we're gonna die. We are gonna die. Help us! Oh, that's fine. They can't chase us. Okay, we're up. Yeah, I don't even have any, resi any resistance and they can't beat me. They can't slap me down. Again, that was a Malphite, doesn't really have a lot of burst. If it doesn't go AP, does he? So there's one possible, possible reason for that happening. Should I go these? They're pretty cool. Nah, let's wait and see. We need one of these. Yeah, one of these we'll, we always need. They got the Durgan. That's not good. Did they? No, oh, maybe we got it. We have one dragon. Something. They have one dragon. Okay, I think they got this one. I think. I gotta go top and stop Echo from doing his shenanigan. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover in terms of sick leave and updates and yeah, stuff like that. And apologizing over and over again. Guys, I'm well. Is yeah, it's probably getting old. But I don't want to like. I'm too small to be letting my fans down at this point, if you know what I'm saying. I hope it's okay that I call you fans, because I assume those who are subscribed to me like what I do. Or maybe just really nice people and don't want to hurt my feelings. <laughs> Thank you for that, in that case. Nice no, kidding. But yeah. I've been... Yeah, I'm a little bit rusty in the whole League of Legends thing. It maybe doesn't tell in, show in this game, because I'm... Usually, uh, you... I thought I would get nothing but Illawi matchups, like mirror matchups, when I went on the PvE. But surprisingly few people pick her, and those who did picked her support. But, for a video that I wanted to release, they picked Illawi top lane. And a mirror matchup with... All mirror matchups are boring, but for someone who hasn't been playing for a while, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't pretty. It was awful. We won that game, but it was not a fun game at all. So there's that. <clears throat> Sorry, the old throat is acting up. Now I really have a legitimate reason to say my throat is acting up. Because I have a freaking festering stab wound in the back of it. No, it's not festering anymore. I can tell you something very gross if you'd like to. If you don't want to hear anything gross, then skip ahead about 20 to 30 seconds, I guess. Maybe a little less than that. Yeah, you're not going to do it anyway. Something gross. I... Uh, after the op surgery, my uh, I had a this part of the wound was like dangling loose in the back of my oh shit my team's getting worked dangling loose in the back of my throat, which was not very nice. I don't have to tell you. I think you can imagine. Hello, and cute. There it is. I deserved that kill. I tried very hard for it. <laughs> Wasting my summers for no reason. Uh, okay. Oh, we hit him pretty hard. Me and Echo. Oh, me and Lucian. I also get that part about Sterex Gauge that it actually has a shield to it. That's a pretty important bit, I suppose. But I keep forgetting. I think maxing W second is the best thing to do. I'm not sure though. Because the E is very powerful, but it's very. It's very much less reliant. Reliable. I'm a coming! I can fight this easily. They keep kiting it backwards, and I can catch up. Uda! I know you're here, Poppy! That was from Pirates of the Caribbean. Hello, friends! God damn it, get over here! Here we go. Big slam! Oh god, it didn't work. It didn't work! Abort! Abort! Jesus. Okay, Uder is here to say today. Uder, help! They're killing me! I have sustained though. Sort of. Oh! I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna be. Yeah, there we go. But I stayed alive for 
Why not longer than I think I should have? Because new champion. <laughs> also talking about, yes. So, the dangling little bit of wound flesh in the back of my throat. I asked my doctor, hey, what's, what about this? Is this supposed to be here? And he said, yeah, it's gonna disappear in a few days. And I didn't know what that meant. Apparently it meant I'm gonna have a festering piece of human corpse in my mouth that will eventually fall out. So, yeah, the first couple of days were pretty fucking disgusting. I was... Imagine being sickened by your own mouth or your own throat. That's quite a hassle, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> Not the best thing I've experienced. Let's see here. Oh, that's me. 80... Uh, I think it's going Tiger. I think I saw him use Tiger. Uh, anyways. Uh, I guess some magic. Yeah, some magic resist might be useful here. And Halai has been slain. Why do you guys... So yeah, that's the festering, dangling piece of flesh in my mouth. I'm not gonna elaborate anymore on that, because that's... That's fucking disgusting. Believe me, I know. What do you guys think of the new season and the fast meta, as they are calling it? Quite accurately, because... The games are very short and very snowbally. I... Kind of like the fact that they are shorter, but I don't like the fact that... A comeback is now like a thing of the past. Almost. Not entirely, of course. People are going to be like, well, I came back with the... Uh. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean... Uh, let's say, let's put it this way. Throwing is not very easy to do anymore. Because if you have a lead, lead, you have a lead for a... You, know, you have to strain yourself to lose your lead, so to speak. Hello! <laughs> Help me, tentacle friends! Where's my team? I need help. <laughs> Go into them alone and ask for my team. That's that's a quality player right there. Let's get this. I want the frozen gauntlet though. I'll get it later. Let's go for this. <clears throat> ah, this has pretty much been the game for me. Very even. Indeed. We got the dragon. Hey. Uh, yeah, the new season to me is a little bit... I think the Masteries... I like what they did to the Masteries, that they are more playstyle. Like, they speak more to the kind of playstyle you want to use. But I don't like the fact that it's, like, too dominant. The freaking crit runes. Yasuo, Trindomir, all eighty carries. That's pretty stupid. And some of the... I don't, something I really don't understand. They're my two biggest pet peeves. Or not pet peeves, my two biggest... I hate this game. Things. They removed the mana potions completely, for whatever reason. Have you ever been in a lane, or in a game of League of Legends, where like, man, we would be crushing us so hard if they didn't stack all these mana potions? No, you haven't. Nobody has. And if anyone has, they... Well, they are just very much a spe special little guy. Slam. <clears throat> very much a special little guy. Last bit of iced tea there. That is the one thing that is gonna be my doom if I keep doing it too much. Ice peach iced tea is gonna be the death of me. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. The mana potion removal. Not only does it in make lanes a lot more... Like my talent top lane that I just figured out that I could do. Because I'm a little bit slow. Can't do that no more. Particularly well. I only tried it like twice so far. But yeah. Doesn't really work out all that well. Because my mana is just out the window, so doing a camp is pretty much useless too, because you don't get as many potions anyway. I guess it's the same thing, because you know, yeah. Maybe it's kind of worth, I don't know. I'm gonna flash out of this one. What are you doing? They're coming for me, you dear. They're not gonna kill me because I'm fucking fat as all hell, but. They're coming for... what is happening? I missed entirely. He's dead. That's something I know for sure. He is very much dead. Stop it, Echo! You big brute. Big bully. Hi yeah. What the hell kind of hook was that? <laughs> What's he doing? Thank you. Some HP back. HP. 
Oh, that's a good one. That is a clean house. There it is. Okay, goodbye. I don't know where all the damage suddenly came from, I think. Thresh's alt was placed very, very well. Oh, that's a cool Thresh build, actually. Eight and four, it seems to be working for him as well. Hmm, yeah, and my second biggest pet peeve. They just, like, very recently made the... I think go down there. The improvements to the AP items, right? And the AP items were fun to buy again. Everything was great. AP top laners worked, and yeah. Then they go ahead and buff every single AD item. It's like, okay, now everyone's on par with each other. That's nice. But then they increased all the costs for AP items again. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? What, what are you doing over there? I want to be on that board meeting like, well, we're getting rid of these goddamn mana potions because I can't stand them. Yeah, as I said, who has been annoyed with mana potions ever? It doesn't contribute. Yeah, it's not... I'm not gonna go off on that again, I already covered that. And then this. You know how AP characters are fun to play again, like, in more than just mid lane and not just the, uh, like, four assassins you go mid lane with? Yeah, let's revert that, because we don't really like it. Okay. And then let's buff every other th single AD item and AD related stuff and make masteries just that primarily benefit AD characters. And it's like, oh, well, now we're back to square one, aren't we? Only the Jax and freaking Jasso are out of control. That's all All that happened. Some AD carriers are a little bit different and... I don't like those changes either, actually. I like that they did something with AD carriers, because even I was starting to feel bad for them. I never really liked AD carry players, but they were assholes. <laughs> They're like the... like Sky Williams said in one of his earlier works. The spoiled brat of the League of Legends family. I need all the farm and all the kills to stack my own, and it's true to stack their items, but it's true these days, because an AD carry is, is like butt fucked until like 40 minutes into the game back before season 6, and now they're very much relevant indeed. But they're not relevant necessarily as AD carries, they're relevant because they can go anywhere now, because their reworks were too powerful. Let's not end it just yet, I want to babble on a bit more. I don't want to die, I want to babble on. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe we can't stop this from happening. Urgh. That's, yeah. Okay, that's the game. So yeah, they changed the AD carries up, and I don't really think... Like, the thematic changes were pretty cool. But the fact that the bottom lane is now a mess, and all the other stuff, yeah. I think they're in the right direction, but I think they overdid it a little bit. They didn't really think too far ahead, but now, yeah, enough of that. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing me, my silly voice again, in a slightly better sound quality. <laughs> and I shall see you tomorrow with a new type of content. Not a new type of content, it's a new game. And you can probably figure out which one it is, but it's gonna be fun. It's not Nascoff, I mean it's a new game. Yeah, I covered that pretty well, didn't I? Have a, have a wonderful rest of your Saturday, I believe it is, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.